Hi, this is Orville Johnson here for Acoustic Guitar, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about open tunings, tuning your guitar to an open chord. The chord that I'm tuned to is open G, and here's how you get to that from your standard guitar tuning. Uh, lower your low E string down a whole step to D, lower your A string down a whole step to G, leave these strings the same, 4, 3, and 2, and then lower your high E down to D. So the notes in this tuning are D, G, D, G, B, and D. And put them all together, G chord. So if you want to play some chord progressions, you know, you're going to need to be able to play uh, some other chords besides G. So the easiest way to do that is just to bar uh, all the strings at other frets. So if I play uh, all the strings at the fifth fret, now I'm playing a C chord. If I play them all at the seventh fret, now I'm playing a D chord. So on a lot of common blues tunes, folk tunes, country tunes, stuff like that, that's all the chords that you need. You know, the one, the four, and the five. And I'm sure after you have played chords like that for a long time, you'll be longing for another sound another way to play them besides this. So let me just point out a couple of things. Um, here are two nice sounding chords that are a little closer to the nut. Um, and the first one, if you just make what looks like a C chord, you probably already know how to play a regular C chord on the guitar. But if we play that same fingering in G tuning, we get a chord that sounds like this. Which is a pretty cool sounding chord. It gives us, uh, it's good for blues uh, because it gives us a real, that note that's on the fifth string, which normally would be the root of your chord, uh, the C note in standard tuning, is now been, has now been lowered a step. So it's a B flat. So it's a very, very gnarly sound. But you can use that for a C chord. And then for a D chord, you can use this position. That's a D seventh chord. 